What's up, people? Today I want to continue the series that I've been doing by holding police officers liable. And this portion is regarding fiduciary duty. Again, it's something that we spoke about previously, but it's something I want to go over really quick, which probably won't be quick. Because whenever you hear somebody say, oh, well, you work for me, when they're speaking to a public official, do you understand the fact that they work for you because they are a fiduciary towards the public as stated in McNeely v. United States 483 U.S. 350 1985 and when you're asking a police officer which you see most commonly for their name and badge number and they choose not to give it to you it becomes again as stated in McNeely v. U.S. If the deliberate concealment of material information is from you, he is guilty of fraud. Now, because they have a fiduciary towards you, you do not have a fiduciary obligation until you commit a crime, which is damage to person, property, or they witness you committing a felony. So understanding that, it also is stated in U.S. v. Dial. 757 163 168 in the Seventh Circuit 1985, which also deals with the fiduciary withholding material information. And it can be as simple as what is your name? What is your badge number? Because they have a fiduciary obligation to the public. When they say, oh, I don't work for you, I work for XYZ Police Department, or I work for XYZ County. Well, guess what? The, who the county is? You are the county. The public is the county. Because without the public, there is no county. There is no state. There is no region. None of that without the public. So their fiduciary duty is to the public. You. You have no fiduciary obligation to them. Their obligation is to you. Now, going into that is the flat-out understanding if they're not doing what they're supposed to do. This is a federal court matter, and you file suit against them in their individual capacity. You get a copy of their oath of office to prove their fiduciary duty to you. Now, understanding that is how to hold them liable whenever you are going into court, whenever you are asking them questions, whenever they confront you about things that may or may not concern you. Even in idle conversation, this is something that you always need to keep in mind. They have a duty to you. They work for you because they have a fiduciary obligation to you because of their oath of office. Look inside of any of your state's codes because all of it is codified from the beginning to the end for their oath of office and where it will be located. So just keep that in mind. Fiduciary duty that they have to you is how you hold them accountable in federal court.